Uh, it's Sunday, crypto fam, blockchain lovers, and hodlers. And it was also, it's now daylight savings time, at least here in California. So I hope all is well and your Sunday's going swimmingly well. Excuse me, drinking beer. It's Sunday, okay? And on that note, three items on tonight's today's docket. Analog, SHIB, I haven't talked about SHIB, SHIB, and Coinbase. So let's get into it. All right, Analog, uh, they are the recipient, the first recipient of my favorite crypto, XYO, and Atelier's ecosystem fund. Uh, they were re rewarded, awarded the recipient title uh, I want to say it was late, mid to late February. Anyways, for those that aren't aware, Analog uh, operates on the layer one, uh, their blockchain, and good news, things are looking up for them. They have two job openings, both are posted on LinkedIn. And um, the first one is a senior substrate slash rust engineer. And the second opening is front end engineer. And both positions will be part of Analog's Omni Chain future. Think you got what it takes? Are you interested? You wanna read more about it? Well, guess what? My video description has the URLs for both of them. And like I said, uh, you need to apply through LinkedIn. So if you don't have a LinkedIn account, you'll need to uh, create one. All right, docket item number two, SHIB. What is going on with SHIB? Do you own a lot of SHIB? I own a lot, or do you hodl a lot of SHIB? I do. Uh, I really liked when it was overinflated back in October, but you know, we'll see if it uh, gets to that price again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, good news, AMC is finally accepting SHIB and Dogecoin for payment. In addition to already accepting crypto uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litcoin. And let's take a moment, let's take a breather. AMC movie chain. Apparently, people are complaining there's a big hoopla about AMC overcharging for Batman, the Batman. Well, guess what? I don't have that problem. And you, you wouldn't have that problem either. If you signed up for their A stubs, uh, A list, whatever the, the top tier of their movie membership is. California residents, $24 a month. Oh my God, Baroque Medusa, that's ridiculous. Uh, you can go to see three movies a week, and um, if you just see two movies a month, it's paid for, and it includes opening day, opening weekend. I saw Batman on opening weekend, and I didn't have to pay, I guess, extra or whatever that they were charging for Batman because it was included in my membership. So you might want to check that out. Okay. Last item on the docket, Coinbase. I've said this in at least two of my previous episodes. Um, their app, I'm not sure about if you log in on your computer, but I've mentioned that Coinbase needs to list how much I've actually invested right next to or in the same column or in the column next to how much my holdings are currently worth. Well, guess what? They finally did it. Finally. I mean, it's common sense. I was just thinking like, I don't know how long Coinbase has been around. I guess I need to look that up. But sometimes some of the way they run things there, it's like the public sector is running it. Okay, and on that note, I'm done. 
I hope you guys have a good rest of your Sunday. If you have Coinbase, um, check out your portfolio and see how much you're actually, uh, how much you've actually invested. I don't have to keep a spreadsheet anymore. Let's just say that. All right, from myself and the bubbles. She's camera shy. Why are you camera shy? All right, anyways, peace.